Hi, Scorpio. This is a peek at your partner for the week of February the 20th through February the 26th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Scorpio for February the 20th through February the 26th. 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the partner of the star sign of scorpio for february the 20th through february the 26th 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the partner of the star sign of scorpio for February the 20th through February the 26th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is a peek at your partner. So, Scorpio, your partner has the Knight of Wands. Your partner has the Six of Cups. Your partner has the Two of Cups. Your partner has the Wheel of Fortune. And your partner has the High Priestess. Hmm. So, Scorpio. Your partner has the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could be in a rush to do something here. There could be a rushing and going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone is out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something, to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. And Scorpio, listen, your partner could be in a rush to get their abundance, their money, assets, resources, property here. Scorpio, it could be a rushing and going off, going ham, passion with a heated discussion or argument over money, assets, resources, property. Your partner could tell me that they're in a rush to go into some type of commitment here. However, Scorpio, you guys may have had this commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics going on. And in tarot, tens are endings. And it could be ending because there was a rushing and going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Scorpio, your partner has a six of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they can be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Scorpio, listen, you know, your partner... To tell me that you're this person from their past. 
They may want to reunite here, Scorpio. Your partner could tell me that something from the past was brought back up here. Your partner could tell me that someone from your past or their past is in the picture. However, this may involve children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Scorpio could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could also be work or business for your partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Excuse me. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. And this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So let me sit back in my chair. Scorpio, listen. Listen, Scorpio, your partner could tell me that they have a spark of a new idea. They may want to initiate something here, want to reunite here, having commitment and stability on the brain here. Maybe there's some type of rush. Scorpio, your partner could tell me dealing with you, there's someone from their past. Yes, we had some passionate communication, maybe a heated discussion or argument here, rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Scorpio, <clears throat> your partner may want to reunite and come and get some of these cookies right mm -hmm. right they may want to come over to your house and get some cookies right but scorpio because i'm doing your read i have to just dig a little deeper okay scorpio we'll see because your partner could tell me that someone was out being a player and this is why you guys is commitment marriage living together situation family dynamics have come to an end so scorpio yes your partner could tell me that they started a passion in the beginning with someone from their past however scorpio your partner could be telling on you that you started a passion in the beginning with someone from your past and is it an earth sign here scorpio your partner has the two of cups Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Scorpio, your partner sees you as their soulmate. You guys have this connection here. Clarify the two of cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the two of cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the two of cups. For Scorpio's partner. Uh -uh. I want to say something so bad, Scorpio. Listen, this person could have been in a commitment. And there was playing going on here. They were out playing with you, Scorpio. Not playing... Not playing hopscotch or jump rope or double dutch or whatever. Marco Polo. <laughs> Rugby or some shit. Listen, not that. I don't know. Tennis. I don't know. Badminton. I don't know what people play. Okay. I don't know what they play. I play Ruzzle. That's all I play. I don't have any other games downloaded. Just Ruzzle. 
I don't know why. My kids laugh at me so much. I just play Russell. But Scorpio, listen, this person could have been out playing with you. You can be this person from their past. Could be an earth sign, a Taurus here. You guys started a passion in the beginning that may have caused their already established commitment to come to an end. Clarify the two of cups. The high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition. But they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now the high priestess keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So yes, yeah, Scorpio, you guys may not be speaking right now. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition here. However, they could be keeping a secret. You might be their little secret. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning your partner to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that they make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but your partner can tell me that, hey, I need to heal individually on my own. Your partner could tell me that they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Could be something going on with compromise and negotiations here. Also, a need for your partner to be patient. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Your partner could also be keeping a secret, Scorpio, about their soulmate connection. And they could be in some type of commitment with maybe a Sag here. Clarified temperance. For Scorpio's partner, clarified temperance. For Scorpio's partner, clarified temperance. For Scorpio's partner, it is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. This is your partner detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. So Scorpio, listen, your partner can tell me that they're walking away, detaching emotionally. Hmm. However, when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Scorpio, I just feel like, I, I, ooh child, I just, ugh. listen, this is a promise that I have with myself, okay? This is a vow that I have with myself. I will not speak about something unless it's before me on the table, but I already see what this is, Scorpio. Just a clue as to what I already told you. You just use that, okay? Scorpio, listen, your partner has the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a fated event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So Scorpio, your partner could tell me that everything has changed here. Your partner could tell me it's an actual change in their luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. I don't take cards that fall out. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio's partner. <clears throat> the hermit could be dealing with a Virgo but right now your partner is taking some time out to be alone to do some soul searching introspection searching their inner man for wisdom and guidance going within looking for answers so Scorpio could be dealing with a Virgo but right now your partner could tell me that hey I just need some me time your partner could tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching or they went on a solo search looking for something clarify the hermit for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the hermit for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the hermit for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. 
Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. Ay, 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 ay. So it's clear to me, Scorpio, that your partner may be home alone because there was some type of leaving here. You know, your partner can tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching because something has changed in a commitment here. Okay, so the commitment may be coming to an end. Yet, I'm seeing some type of going back to someone from their past. And so, I feel like, like I said, I don't mean out playing hopscotch with you or jump rope or badminton or... Marco Polo shit. No, I feel like <sighs> I feel like we had something to do with one another during the course of a commitment that they were in. And now that this commitment is ending, there may be a backtrack to this soulmate twin flame connection that they had with you so you very well may be getting a bird's eye view here scorpio scorpio your partner has a high priestess scorpio cancer or pisces this is she who knows she who knows this is the keeper of the hidden secrets keeper of the hidden knowledge the universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition but they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. Now, Scorpio, yes, it very well could be a rush to do something. It may be about divine timing, dealing with a commitment. But I feel like there's something that's ending for your partner because there is a walking away. Hmm. Hmm. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio's partner. Oh, God. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could be sending out love messages and an apology to you. They could be receiving love messages and an apology from you. For freaking what? We could be finding love messages and hearing the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. I don't know. Children could be involved here. Some type of family dynamics that changes everything here. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner needing to make a decision, but they're in the dark about some things. Some things they just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for them to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of your partner being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. Well, Scorpio, I'm just going to tell you what I see. This person that they were in some type of commitment with may be coming to apologize to them and maybe they're indecisive using their intuition or just blocking them and not speaking to them because I feel like there's a walking away and they're wanting to end it. But Scorpio, is something else on your partner's mind here. Like, you guys just were brief. You were quick. You just, 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 just had this brief window of you know dealing with one another <clears throat> and it was over scorpio it just seems like their commitment is ending everything has changed here but your partner is forward thinking and i believe i had a read concerning this concerning you and this person before 
Your partner is forward thinking, Scorpio. They're indecisive here about sending out this news about romance or love or trying to show and prove or whatever, using their intuition here. It's almost like commitment is on their brain. You're dealing with someone who's stable, who's traditional, who believes in commitment, who is never uh, single long. Scorpio. So I feel like, yes, they're getting out of a commitment, but I also feel like you can be in CVS. You can be at Walmart. You can be at, um, what is this, uh, Applebee's somewhere, eating lunch with your girlfriends or something. And suddenly you get this call from this person out the blue. Why? Because their situation is ending. Then a month down the line, Something that they already had in their mind, already planning, already seeing in their vision. You may be on their vision board somewhere. Scorpio, they're wanting some type of commitment here and wanting to maybe rush into a commitment, but deciding that, hey, you know, I need to just be patient and take my time. It's a timing thing. It's a timing thing. I hope you guys follow me. Usually when I do these reads, this is this public. I don't go too deep. I go deep in, in my private reads. When I used to do private reads, I may pick it up later. But I just see, I feel like you're getting a bird's eye view of something ending. And you're also getting what's in your partner's mind right now as far as their future goes. You're dealing with someone who's forward thinking, Scorpio, who is always on stability, okay? So I just feel like, yes, they're wanting to reunite with me really me wanting to reunite with you know that you're their soulmate Scorpio but I feel like they're trying to be patient I feel like they're walking away from something but also walking back towards something which is you Scorpio this is a peek at your partner for the week of February the 20th through February the 26th 2022 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and I'll see you guys next week peace